Basically, in order to clone another animal, you take a cell from one, then you take an egg without a nucleus, and then basically you get an offspring. But it's a little bit more involved. First, for you to even consider getting your dog cloned, you need $100,000. Also, the dog you want to clone has to be either alive or dead for fewer than five days. Next, you need to take your dog to the vet and get a biopsy sample. Using a tool called a biopsy punch, your veterinarian will cut out an 8 mm wide sample of flesh from the abdominal area of the dog. First, the sample is sterilized and cut into smaller pieces. Then it's treated with a reagent and chemically dissociated, meaning the cells are separated from the tissue. The sample is then placed in a centrifuge, which allows the scientists to collect the cells and transfer them into a growth medium. One to two weeks later, Suam has the cells necessary for the cloning process. Suam then goes to a laboratory animal provider where they rent two dogs, an egg donor and a surrogate mother. Starting with the egg donor, once the eggs are collected, a scientist places them under a microscope and uses a pipette to extract the nucleus. If you see the shiny part, this is where the genetic material is. Suam is removing the DNA from the eggs. As you can see, we can verify that all the genetic material has been taken out. And by removing the DNA, Suam is creating genetically empty eggs meaning the breed of the egg donor dog won't matter since none of its DNA will be passed on to the cloned puppy. From here, a Suam scientist injects the cells taken from the biopsy sample of the original dog into the empty eggs. Under normal circumstances, sperm is a necessary component for reproduction. But in this cloning process, sperm is replaced by two things, the cell from the original dog and a series of short electrical shocks from a machine called the Electro Cell Manipulator. The electrical currents from this machine activate and fuse together the membranes of the egg and cell, creating a fertilized embryo. After just one minute, Suam has a whole batch of cloned dog embryos to work with. Next, Suam moves on to the second rental dog, the surrogate mother. Back in the operating room, the doctors inject up to 15 cloned embryos into her uterus. When a successful pregnancy is confirmed, it takes another 30 days for the surrogate mother to give birth. Now, with the high cost of the procedure and invasive surgeries performed on the rental dogs, it's easy to see why dog cloning is controversial. 